Hi everyone, happy Friday. My name is Cheeto uh, and I'm from uh, Fractum Protocol. Um, so what is Fractum Protocol? Is this my PPT? <laughs> Let's make sure, okay, awesome. <laughs> Future of uh, NFT accessibility and trading by me, by Fractum. Um, so yeah, what is Fractum Protocol? So we are an infrastructure protocol that works on making NFT trading accessibility and ownership a better place than today. So in the next five minutes, I will quickly go through the current state of NFT accessibility, why blue chip NFT accessibility matters, and where Fractum Protocol fits in the puzzle. All right, let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna just get my script ready because I just usually forget things on Fridays, so. Um, right, so let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey NFTs and digital art have gone through. It's amazing to think these concepts existed even before Ethereum, but those early ideas, like colored coins, didn't really make it due to the lack of users and infrastructure. The game really changed with OpenSea and the ERC721 token standard, which helped improve NFT accessibility and trading. But our work isn't over yet. We still face some challenges in NFT accessibility that, that hinder us from soaring to greater heights. It's been two years since we reached the 1 billion NFT trading volume milestone, yet, the NFT market remains only a fraction of the crypto market size. Also, recent NFT innovations like Blur haven't been as impactful in attracting new users. Surprisingly, the number of unique buyers has declined since Blur's airdrop season two. Now, let's address the concern. The presence of low quality NFT projects, they are dangerous to our ecosystem. New NFT users are hesitant to spend a large portion, portion of their income on a single purchase. But many top quality NFT projects come with a hefty price tag. As a result, new users often invest in lower quality NFTs, putting their money in, at risk in projects with a higher chance of rug pulls. Unfortunately, this money is likely to leave the NFT ecosystem, and new, us and new users will be discouraged by these negative experiences. This is right. So that's why it's essential to make high quality NFTs accessible to everyone. Without mass adoption, innovations like Blur can only enhance liquidity but won't address accessibility. If new users don't buy NFTs, we risk the entire market going downwards with, low, with lower NFT floor price, decreasing Blur token prices, and many disappointed farmers and flippers. If new users can only afford low quality NFTs, will face more rug pulls, funds leaving the ecosystem, and a general sense of disappointment. This is right. This is where Fractum Protocol steps in. Our mission is to enhance NFT accessibility and attract more users through fractionalization and sex integration. We've developed a gas-efficient and secure way to fractionalize NFTs into ERC-20 tokens. Each NFT in the collection is split into 1 million high NFT tokens, which can be redeemed on-chain without permission. To introduce new users to NFTs, we've launched 26 collections as tradable tokens on a top four centralized exchange, which is KuCoin. By doing, by doing this, we aim to educate crypto users and allow them to trade their own quality, I mean, our own quality high uh, NFTs without the fear of rug pulls. And here are some milestones we have achieved in the past few years. I'm not gonna read it. It feels like we are bragging, but it's the truth. So yeah, that's basically us, uh, Fraction Protocol. Fraction Protocol, I'm sorry, Fraction Protocol. We have a booth downstairs, uh, so if you're interested in talking more about it, just find us in the booth. We have some really cool fidget toys. To fidget toys. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you.